Hey everyone, today we're coming down this road because we're going to unclog a culvert to stop the road from flooding and becoming soft. This is a pretty rough road, it leads to a ATV trail parking lot. Like, this road's not very good. Right here, if you can tell, this road is very crooked, slanted over to the right. A lot of giant rocks in the road you gotta watch out for not to bottom out on. But down here at the bottom of this hill is where the issue is. It's not flowing right now because it's kind of dry, but it probably would tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. There's this flooded area with a bunch of mud causing everyone to have to come up here onto the shoulder to get around it. And eventually someone's gonna end up hitting these rocks because they're very high if you try to drive a car down here. So right up here at this lower part of the road, there is a culvert pipe. You can actually see the hump right about here. We're gonna go unclog that right now. I'm gonna pull up right here onto this shoulder so another vehicle can pass. Yep, just plow right up onto the little trees. Let's get out and show you the situation and then we'll gear up. All right, so. I was here yesterday checking this out and I decided to wait until today when I was more rested because this might be a tough one. I'm just looking for the culvert. It's right here, this part of road. So right down here, you can see there's very little trickling out of here. First thing I'm gonna do before opening the other end is I gotta get the rake and dig all this out because a lot of this, when they grade the road, falls down here building a dam. That's a bigger culvert than it looks like. I believe that may actually be a three footer, but yet barely any of it's showing. So we gotta start off first by opening that up. Then we gotta go across the road and begin flow. And the good news is, a little bit of the top is showing so we know exactly where it is. We'll just dig this out of the way and it'll start flowing. Once we get some current, it's just gonna keep continuing because, or I mean it'll help continue digging out. Now by the evidence here, it looks like there might be beavers. I see a little frog right there. There might be beavers. So I may very well end up putting a trail camera here overnight and we'll get it in the morning. Cause look at these branches right here cut by beavers. They still got leaves on them. They're like brand new. Beavers are ready to build back tonight. So down here is where it's causing the damage, the lower part of the road. A lot of these roads are intentionally built with a low area next to the culvert. That way, if the culvert gets clogged, it doesn't wash out and destroy the culvert. It's easier to build back where there isn't a pipe. See it coming out of here? Looks like, honestly, somebody dug that out to make it come in one spot so it wouldn't make the whole thing muddy. And look at this. You could tell water was gushing through there real hard. All right, let's go get geared up. So I think today I'm actually gonna get the big high boots on so I can actually get into the water over here deep and just with the rake pull out towards me then I'll eventually let it all pass through.
Alrighty, everyone. I'm all set. So the first thing we have to do is open the exit so it can run properly. Which, this is a beaver dam at the end, actually. It's not even an embankment. It may be both. All right, everyone. So that is a three foot culvert or two and a half maybe. Okay, the bottom almost foot is still filled with silt, but the entire culvert floor is also filled with silt. Hopefully when we get the other end open, it's going to help clear that out. Once it's blasting, I'm gonna come back over and try raking it a bit more when we have water to help us. This water is gonna stop flowing because it's dammed. When we got here, there was no water flowing. This was all built up by this exiting dam. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set up camera two on this side so we can see what happens. All right, everyone, camera number two is rolling. Hopefully we don't lose it if it blasts too much water. I think it should be fine, but who knows. Now we're coming over onto this side. Got the big high boots on. So I can go down into the water a bit. It's not even that deep. Let's hope there's no angry beavers that show up. All right, I hope an angry beaver doesn't take my camera. This water's actually not that deep, but I put it way out in the pond. The bottom of this is solid. This is an old drainage ditch, definitely, and they made a pond out of it. Look at this, it's all fresh beaver debris. And there's not really anywhere to put it. So, uh, I'm gonna have to let a lot of this junk pass through. I don't even know how good we can open this. Look what idiot with an excavator did. It's all messed up. Oh, never mind. oh, never mind. Yeah, that's a three-foot culvert that goes way over despite the damage. Let me show you what I'm doing up close.
I'm gonna go look at the other side, see what's going on. Going very well. That's what I like to see. All right, I'm back. This pond's draining fast. It's not very big, it appears. Inside the culvert, about three or four feet, it's damaged. It was either damaged with a frost heave or a heavy truck. It's kind of crushed, creating a bottleneck, and I can't get the beaver dam out around that. What you're hearing is like a little waterfall right in the entrance. Bump, bump, bump. That's what I'm touching. I'm touching the excavator damage. Alright guys, this looks about all we can do. This will drop back the pond about another 8 inches, resulting in a total around a foot. Because around the edge we already lost close to 4 inches. I want to peek the camera in there. I want to show you what's exactly happening right now that's causing all these problems. So, if we bend down here, I should be able to dig down another two feet and then I can make a trench here going out to the pond. It would get this thing almost completely empty like it's supposed to be because this is a drainage ditch and that's why the beavers are making the road soft because it's not supposed to be here. A road is not engineered to be a dam and this road is acting like a dam. If you think it, know it or not, there's water passing through this road right now. 
and that will eventually compromise it. Can't believe beavers aren't out here yet. I believe they're here because there are some fresh beaver chew marks. Like that tree right there is cut down to that little stub. But look in here. You see that? Right here, the culvert's crushed. That might be from the road, but as a result, the beaver dam goes beyond this crushed part another couple feet. The beaver dam total is probably five good feet inside the pipe. And we've done bigger jobs than that, but they've also been big pipes that I could actually get inside and work. This one right here would be way too dangerous to get inside and work, and I'd have to start from the exiting end. I've done that before with four foot and larger pipes, as long as the dam isn't very big. This dam here is two feet or slightly less, which wouldn't be a big cause for concern as far as pressure trapping me, but the fact that it's three feet this pipe is a problem. And the fact that the exit is struggling to be open more than two feet is another problem. Can't fit in there. Even if it was totally open, it'd be extremely dangerous and uncomfortable. Maybe from this end, you'll be able to see more of that clog. See that blockage up there? That crushed piece of pipe is helping the beavers so much. Whether a big truck did that, an excavator operator. Look at the ceiling, that's all spider egg sacs, spider nests. Considering the beavers will come right back uh, with the amount of water crossing, what we're discharging will get down, like I said, about a foot in drop by tonight. If the beavers jam it up tonight, at the flow rate that you see it crossing the road, it'll probably take them a good week to get this pond filled back up and cause a flooding problem. Uh, if the beavers are gone, this would work as a, as a solution for quite a while and it would stop it from crossing the road. It would allow it to start drying out. Matter of fact, doing this in today's sunshine, it's gonna start drying out, but we're expecting rain the next couple days, so the beavers are gonna be excited. They'll be able to fill this thing back up. All right, so we gotta look into now, shutting off camera two, putting up a possible trail camera somewhere I'm hoping the beavers don't try to steal the camera but because I don't have like a confident spot to put it I'm gonna use one of the lesser important cameras across the entire beaver pond you can see slight drops this right here is probably the most open part of their pond and see these trees right here these are all cut by beavers. I think there's active beavers here. And there's active moose. Culvert is still running strong. The sound of the running water will get those beavers going nuts. So, I think I'm crazy enough to do this. I'm going to be putting a trail camera like right here on this tree right next to them. I hope they don't cut it down, but we'll have to wait and find out. If the trail camera's gone, oh, oh well, I'll have to replace it. There's actually a bunch of tadpoles here. At least they're not getting sucked in as far as I can tell. Once it drops back to where I left it, there'll still be a good foot or so of water to sustain them. If any of them do slip in, unfortunately, they'll go to a bird, I guess. Something will eat them eventually. 
All right, in the couple minutes it took to set up this camera, a lot of mosquitoes are landing on my hands, like the only part of my body without bug spray. Keep biting me. But here's the trail camera set up. It's aiming down right there where the beaver should be working. And I have it set on time-lapse video, which basically means it's going to make a normal video clip, a 15-second normal video clip every minute. Then if they do build a dam, we can speed up all that footage after editing it together and have a long time lapse with good moments we will keep in real speed. Now, the reason I don't have it on motion sensing, because it almost never works. I have one beaver video from a year ago of them building a dam, but even this morning further up this road, I went down an ATV trail on like a two mile walk because you're not allowed to bring a car on that certain trail. Left the trail camera there a couple days ago, just picked it up today. It shows me leaving and then it shows a few nighttime videos of nothing happening. Then it shows a couple daytime videos of a bird. But suddenly throughout the night, the dam is fixed. Beavers don't set off trail cameras easily. Maybe it's because they rarely leave the water and their little head sticking up. Maybe the trail camera thinks it's just ripples of water and doesn't go off. I don't know what it is, but they're masters at not getting on camera. All right, let's hope for the best. We'll be back here first thing in the morning. I'm actually going now to set a trail camera up somewhere else about 20 miles away in a pond we drained about a week ago. The reason I didn't set a camera up at the time is because it's a risky one. The camera would be visible from the road, which is far more traveled than this. And if you're able to see it from the road, someone might steal it. And I don't even know if beavers are there for 100%, but if there's a dam there now after a week, and there's our answer. We got beavers, and they're probably not trapped in just the last week because they got to create a work order. It takes them time to get out there. Just like last year, park rangers told me a bunch of different spots had work orders to trap beavers and relocate them to an area where they won't cause trouble. All summer, I was there unclogging the same dam over and over, but they finally got to it. They're all gone this year. This year, I got to find new locations. This is a very beautiful place. Notice how near this small river, there's no trees anywhere near it of substantial size. And way back there, you can see so many dead trees in the distance. At one point, this must have been a massive beaver pond before they were trapped and relocated. Just look at the structure they have down here in case they come back. A giant steel culvert. This looks like it may have been a fuel tank at one time. This huge thing ends with it cut off and repurposed. That's kind of a flimsy fence. But I guess they're hoping the, build, the beavers will build against that and if there's a flood it can pour in over the top instead of washing out the road. I personally don't think it's strong enough. And see how they have all the rocks built up around it? I'm thinking that might mean that thing's not even put in the ground too well. Well, let's find out. And here it is coming out the other side. This looks really nice down there too. Kind of looks like there's a beaver dam way down at the end of this swamp. Potentially. I'm wearing my big tall boots right now. So I should be able to just go right down here. Something's in here. Maybe a bird. Looking for the best option down. All right, we're down. Yeah, it's not drilled into the ground very far. Those rocks are kind of holding it up. 
A lot of spider webs. This fence is helping the spiders. They're all setting up in every little hole, just waiting. Take a look at this messed up culvert in the road. Just went over this. What kind of culvert is it? A plastic crushed piece of junk. Hey everyone, it's been about eight hours since we unclogged this culvert and we're coming up upon it again. I just drove by it and I just made a three point and now I'm coming back. There was a few sticks in the road. It looks like the beavers might be cutting down trees and dragging them. It's possible, we gotta look around as soon as we get out. So here's the flooded area. Yes, that puddle is already drying up in just the last eight hours of draining. Let's see how far down the water did indeed get. It's right here on this hump. We're just gonna stop right here. All right, I got my floodlight and my headlamp. Gotta be careful out here. A lot of tree frogs. So where is it? Right here. Barely anything flowing. Did it run out of water from draining or did the beavers do this? It's getting chilly out. It's already around 45. And it's going to be June 1st in two and a half hours. Okay, here we are. Keeping a lookout for possibly very angry beavers. Yeah, we just ran out of water. Hear a lot of frogs. All right, no beavers yet, which is a surprise. From all that fresh cut stuff this morning, I thought there would have been some. All right, we'll be back in the morning in about another 10 hours. All right, everyone, it's morning, and we're coming back to retrieve the camera and see if beavers ever showed up. I'm not very confident on this that they did show up, but if they're not here, this just means I'm doing this on the wrong type of culvert. It may not be a priority to them to get it clogged up, because this will be the sixth culvert in the past week I have attempted to film on with beavers and nothing has showed up. Very little is flowing, but the pond probably is just out of water like we saw last night. Yeah, nothing ever showed up here. Nothing. You see, there are brand new beaver cut sticks and stuff, but this may just be a secondary pond. There's a lot of ponds that beavers own, they just don't show up at. Well, if there was anything on this camera, any other type of animal, I will show it at the end of the video. Otherwise, thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.